Real quick, uh, if you guys don't have, you know, a few minutes to watch this video, the big question of the day is volunteer inspections at way stations. Is that over? Because a truck driver saying it is over all across America, you know, stating that feds have sent out an email to all way stations across America that they're not doing volunteer inspections. We'll get to why you would ever want a volunteer inspection, but I'm asking that question. Are you seeing the signs as well? What's going on, Mud Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mud Truck News. Email us at mudtrucknews at gmail.com. So I have a quick question to all the truck drivers out there on the road, right? Uh, we get a mud truck that says, uh, hey, so I tried to get a volunteer inspection in Oregon, and they told me that the Fed sent out an email saying that they are no longer allowing volunteer DOT inspections. I thought he was just being lazy, but I just tried in California, and the same thing. They have this on their door at the Cottonwood scale. The FMCSA hasn't put anything on their website that I can find. Just thought it would be a good story to cover. Just another way they are trying to make trucking a mega carrier only industry. So you can see right here, it says per California Highway Patrol policy, we are no longer allowing volunteer inspections. You know, so, you know, the big question of the day for all the truck drivers on the road, you know, is this actually true? If you go to a way station right now or you've been called to go in to give your paperwork, uh, are you seeing the sign all across America or is this just specifically Oregon and California? So let's answer the big elephant in the room. Why the heck would you ever volunteer to get a DOT inspection? In my personal life as being a truck driver, a mover for North American Van Lines, I've gone stop before and gotten a fix it ticket on my trailer. And I needed to basically get it fixed. So what I did was I actually went and got it fixed and then went back to another DOT way scale and got a volunteer inspection, which was free. Right. And so they signed it off. And that was that. The second reason, and this is a bigger reason why you would ever get a volunteer inspection is because if you're a newer owner operator, right, you want to book a load. There's going to be freight brokers out there that aren't going to want to work with you. And there are a couple of reasons because of that. And one is because, one, they usually just want to work with carriers that they've worked with before. You know, two, they want to work with carriers that their friends' companies have worked with before. And if that's not the case, then the third one is they want to work with carriers that have had inspections, random inspections, and great safety scores, right? And so if you've never been inspected or had random inspections, then you just don't have any history letting them know that you are a great carrier for this load. And so truck drivers will go out there as a new owner operator, MC, and want to get volunteer inspection because they want to start building that rapport, right? And so when this truck driver states, hey, they're changing the game and making it just for making carriers. That's what he's talking about right there. So, my truckers, comment down below what your thoughts about this. You know, uh, volunteering inspections, uh, very important for different various situations, either fix the tickets or just trying to build up that relationship with brokers, which, of course, I recommend you always go out, try to find direct shippers, but it's very difficult to do that. And a lot of times you build these relationships with brokers first, right? And so, at the end of the day, all I'm saying to all you mother truckers out there is, can you check when you have to get, actually get called into a way station if there is some type of sign just like the one in this California DOT way station? Because if it's true, then hey, I just want to give that information out there. But a mother trucker is saying it is true, and I'm seeing some proof of this, so just want to see if it's all across America. And, you know, mother truckers have a great day. So if these volunteer inspections aren't free, is it another money grab? You know, that's the big thing.